got my parents a little uh, tower of Pisa wine stopper. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of the coffee show. <laughs> Today I'm in Italy in Pisa and I'm about to check out this uh, coffee shop called the Coffee Filter. You know, one thing I always enjoy when I'm in Italy is a great coffee and Italians take great pride and there's a great culture surrounding that. What am I doing guys? Second round of electric bike. You can rent these electric e-bikes with an app on your phone, you know. Uh, you know here everyone drives on the right hand side, but in Ireland everyone drives on the left hand side, so it can be a wee bit confusing, but you know if you're not sure just get off and you know push the bike across the road, like walk the bike across the road if you're not sure, you know. So this is a coffee filter guys, it's a really high rated coffee shop in Pisa and uh, yeah, I just wanted to check this place out. The thing is about traveling, you always see things you wouldn't see anywhere else and you always get new ideas. Like for example, I got a cold brew coffee and they put orange peel in the coffee. And it's actually delicious. Like the orange peel inside the coffee is just such a good idea. Fucking delicious. The cold brew has a really nice flavor, orange flavor to it. And they told me they squeeze the essential oil out of the orange peel. I also got some breakfast while I was here. Some nice bread with uh, guacamole, feta cheese. And this coffee show, this vlog is primarily based on Pisa, but uh, Pisa is also a great base to go for day trips. So I took the train up to Florence for the day. I was here once before, but since I'm in Pisa, I decided to take a little day trip. I have never stayed in Florence, but if you were to stay here, there is definitely lots to do if you check out online, like uh, websites like Get Your Guide. So yeah, Florence is pretty, it's a pretty cool place. So I'm back from Florence. One food I've been obsessed with since I've been here is the arancini. I've been coming here almost every night. I just love it. This place is called Etna Street Food. If you're here, check it out. I also had to have myself a little coffee gelato. I had some passion fruit in there too. It was pretty nice. Hey guys, just had a wee coffee ice cream. The sun's going down and uh, here's a Tara Pisa. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here at the Tower of Pizza. I'm here by myself, so I don't have anyone to take photos of me, so I gotta sit here. So there's the Tower of Pizza. The van there, well, never mind the van. But uh, yeah, this is my second time here. Make a model. I was here once before, about 10 years ago, on my first Euro trip when I was uh, 22, and now I'm 32, so, so yeah, I'm back 10 years later, I guess, just to kind of relive my youth and yeah, feel like I'm 22 again, but I'm 32. <laughs> On the way back from the Tower of Pisa, I discovered this place. It's like a little kind of coffee ice cream, not like a gelato, more like a, it's like a powder that they mix with ice. So, you know, if you can't have dairy, you could have one of these, you know, it's lactose intolerant. Just put some nice sauce on it. Oh yeah. He told me it was coffee dust and water, basically. And, uh, yeah, 
Dust. I was like a dust, the coffee with, dust. With, with, uh, with water. Uh, and then uh, 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 cream. Uh, uh, really good. So delicious. Really taste the coffee also. That's the end of my little coffee show vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have a little beer by the Tower of Pisa.